Hey everyone, here is a question on ratio and proportion and this question is really important for exam point of view. The question here is divide rupees 500 among A, B, C in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3. So whenever ratios are given we introduce a variable. So here I am going to take a variable as x. So let's start solving this. So we have to we have to divide this 500 rupees in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3. So here A's share will be, so this is A's share will be equal to it's given 1 right so I'm going to use a variable it will be 1x now why I'm taking x here because the ratios are always given in a reduced form lowest form so we don't know the actual number here that is why we're taking a variable x next b's share so b's share will be equal to 2x similarly c's share will be equal to 3x. Now if I add up all this 3 amount that is A's share and B's share and C's share it will be equal to 500 rupees right. So this amount which we have divided between this A, B and C when I add up it should be equal to 500. So we're going to get an equation kind here. So this will be like 1x plus 2x plus 3x is equal to 500. Now when you add up it will be 6x. So 6x is equal to 500. Now 6 is in multiplication with x transposes to other side it comes in division. So 500 divided by 6. You can cancel directly in 6 table or you can cancel this in 2 table. I want to cancel directly in 6 table. We are going to get the answer in decimal. So this is 6 ones are. So 50 uh, like we're gonna get 6 8s are 48 right so 6 8s are 48 so 2 is a remainder so that makes a number uh, 20 and we know that 6 3s are is 18 so 6 3s are 18 means 2 will be the remainder I'm gonna use a decimal here I'm gonna put 0 again so again it's 20 so 6 3s are 18 again so again 2 will be the remainder again we have used a decimal already I'm gonna put 0 so again this number is repeating so it will be like 83.333 if in case this cancellation is confusing you you can just do a normal division on the other side so we got x value here which is 83.33 so therefore x is equal to 83.33 now this is not yet over we have to find the share of each uh, a b and c so from here therefore a's share which was equal to 1x right so this is like 1 into 83.33 which will be nothing but the same thing so it will be rupees 83.33 next b's share so b's share is equal to 2x so 2x means 2 into 83.33 so multiply this we'll get 166.66 the next c's share which is 3x so 3x is nothing but 3 into 83.33 so we're going to multiply this so we'll get here 9 and 9 again and here we'll get 24 249.9 or approximately we can say 250 so this is the answer i hope it's clear how we have solved now in case you have any questions or doubts you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching